what's up guys bobby at the pedal tech here in today's video we are going to be converting this transition repeater here to tubeless so converting tubeless ready wheel set to tubeless so stick with us All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is get these wheels ripped off, get the tires unmounted, and pull these tubes out. So let's get that going. All right, we got the wheels pulled off. We are gonna be swapping these tires out as that's what the customer wants. But this is what comes with the bike. We got sealant and we got valve stems so we're gonna get those tires ripped off we're gonna put those valve stems in all right here we go so the easiest way trash cans make it easy if you've got a 55 gallon trash drum hanging out but let air out once you do that we're gonna have to pop the bead on this wheel here That'll get the tire loosened up and then we're gonna you're gonna need some tire levers to pull this tire off and then that should be good. Alright, we got most of our air let out. So you're gonna wanna push down this bead until it pops down into the center like that, all the way around. Loosen it all up and then do it to the opposite side as well. It'll just help you out, make things a ton easier, or else you'll just fight this thing the whole time. All right, so we're gonna grab tire lever over here. So what you're gonna wanna do here is typically, I like to go at the start of the valve stem here because the valve stem isn't gonna let the tire drop as far into the center of the rim as everywhere else. So this is gonna be a tight spot. So if we start here, it'll be easy to get the rest off and you're just gonna get it under that bead and you're just gonna pry up you can see it pulls the bead out. Now, a lot of times you can just hold the wheel. Let's see if I could do this and just slide this. There you go. And see how the whole bead just pops right off there. And just like that, and you slide it all the way around. And then voila, we're gonna take our valve stem nut off here. And We'll pull this guy down, pop the valve stem up, then you can pull the valve stem out, and then literally, I'm doing this one-handed here, but you could just pop this side of the bead right off, just like that, and voila, tires out. So now, if you have a tubeless ready wheel set on your bike and tubeless tires and all that stuff, most likely your wheel will already have tubeless rim tape in here. So you're gonna wanna make sure that all your spoke holes are covered up and make sure it's tape and not some, you know, rim strip or something, you know, those aren't gonna hold. So you're gonna wanna tape it. If you don't, go get yourself some tubeless rim tape from your local bike shop and or if you don't have a local bike shop, some good quality uh, duct tape will work. Some Gorilla tape or something like that. So now that we got that in there, let's unpackage our valve stems here. And there you go. So you got valve stem, valve cap. You should have another nut here that we're gonna take off. And then in some cases you will have a seal as well, which we do. It's a little seal right there on top, so get that all pulled out and there we go nut and seal there and you're just gonna literally pop this valve stem right through the hole now this one's a, a rectangle here some of them are round all that stuff you're gonna want to push down give it good pressure see how it doesn't even see all the way down you're gonna want to push that until it pops all the way in so it may take a little bit of force see there you go and now it's seated all the way down there so now you are going to put your valve stem nut with the o-ring on there screw that all the way up 
And then, important part, push pressure again down on the valve stem and tighten that nut. And once you get that nice and tight, we can throw a tire back on. So we're gonna get these tires unpackaged and toss one of these guys on here. All right, we got tire unpackaged and unfolded. Now make sure you check, they're usually marked with a rotation like that on there. So there's our rotation that way. Disc is always on the left side. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna rotate that valve stem so it matches up with our logo and we're gonna put this guy right on the rim like that and we're just gonna work our way around putting that bead on and then as you get Towards the end, you're probably going to want to pop a tire lever in here and peel the last couple, couple bits over. And there we go. We got the one side on. So now that you got the one side on, I typically like to hang the wheel from something. So we'll throw it on these bars right here. And what I do here is I'll put the sealant in now. Some people don't like to do this and you can on some cases put um, it through the valve stem if you take the valve core out, but I like to just get it over with right now. So typically most tires are gonna take anywhere from two to three ounces. If you're doing a new tire, you could do a little bit more but something like that there should be good. And then what we're gonna do here is you're gonna, we're gonna pop the lower part of the bead on first or wherever that, you know, sealant is. And we're gonna get that in there. And then we're just gonna work our way around once you get about halfway, it'll it'll stay on much easier. We're getting there, getting there. And I may be able to put this on by hand. You can push it so it gets real tight here at the end, you know. It almost on some tires will feel like it's not going to go over. Once again, just like when we were taking it off, make sure all this bead is pushed all into the center of the rim everywhere. And then once you do that, it'll get even easier. And then you can push them on by hand like this sometimes and not even have to use a, a lever. And just like that, it's on there. All right. Now, some cases you could hook up a normal floor pump like that right up to this guy and pump it up. Sometimes they won't, you know, that won't be pushing enough volume of air in fast enough for it to, to basically beat up. So what we like to do, we like to take a little valve core removal tool, pull the valve core out. Put that aside here. Get blower nozzle for air compressor. Our air compressor. Oh, we're low on PSI, so let's fire that bad boy up. All right, there we go. Air compressor's filled up. We're gonna take our nozzle here butt it up right to the bottom of the valve stem with our valve core out and we're just gonna let that thing loose and it's gonna bead right up you'll hear a few pops from the bead setting don't worry about it that's good and then after that you're gonna pull this off and cover with your finger so let's get that done and there you go just like that as simple as that 
you know now if i let my finger off air is going to come out so we're going to grab our valve core and we're going to pop that guy in and just like that snug it up and voila tubeless tire is mounted you're going to want to make sure your bead is set so you can barely tell there's a there's a line going around the tire make sure that's even going around the tire and not dipping down into the rim because that's going to create a wobble in the tire if it is dipping down you want to give it a little more pressure until it you know it beads up and and pops typically you could get it done somewhere around the 40 psi mark sometimes a little bit more but that should be good in this case that one's all good tires all mounted and that's how you convert your freshy bike into tubeless so appreciate you guys watching until next time we'll catch you subscribe on your way out hit the likes help us out and we'll catch you next time peace